seems like everybody's doing uh, tactical uh, tomahawks, axes, tactical axes, breaching tools, and all that these days. And uh, we actually did a uh, axe uh, slash tomahawk about five, six uh, years ago that uh, we were real happy with. But uh, we were having some of those operations done outside. We're going to bring it inside now. We're going to do an axe. Uh, it's going to be primarily a weapon and then actually a tool at the same time. But uh, if you know, I'm, I'm into the historical uh, history of weaponry and all that. So I went back to some Viking uh, battle axes. And there's a, a number of different styles and types of uh, heads that the Vikings used. Most of what you see, even in Viking movies, is more more like something a Klingon would use than an actual Viking warrior. Uh, they were very simple, but very, very effective. And so, again, you know, relying on something that's proven in battle, I've taken those designs. Uh, we, we had about six or seven designs. I put it before everybody here at, at the shop, and we set it on one. So this is an actual uh, representation of a Viking battle axe that has been modernized by me to make it something that we can build and uh, that you can carry or use. So uh, you can see I've got uh, a basic shape. Uh, I've changed the handle. Most of the Viking axes were straight handle, uh, but the head uh, is representative of a style that was uh, popular uh, during the years between 900 and 1200 AD uh, when the Vikings were doing all their raiding and, uh, and, and using the battle axe. So I've made uh, several of them. They have different plate uh, handles on them. So I'm going to cut cut them out and uh, put them in my hand so I can actually uh, see how they feel and determine what length of handle that we're going to use. Okay, now what I've got is I've got the three separate sizes, same head on all the axes, but with this, with this forward curve, you can come down and strike. You're not gonna come down and hit your, hit your knuckles. That's why that axe is extended a little bit. And with this uh, nice uh, curve up here on the top, it's a good, uh, good for a choke up grip. So for example, a strike comes down, I catch it here, I can pull it back, boom, strike like that with the head or cut with the head like that. I can always use it as a, as a cutting weapon. I could, in effect, use it as a hammer, although you never want the blade to face towards you because you can run into problems with that. But, uh, you know, the Vikings use these in life or death hand-to-hand -hand combat, so they were pretty good about designing their weapons.